All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Readers. And my goodness, how wrong could I have been on my last weed video stock, all right? I'm not here pretending it didn't happen. You can see on the 22nd, I definitely threw a weed stocks are looking good video. And yeah, they definitely are not looking good today, right? So um, look, I, I often say I'm louder about my mistakes than my right calls. And I mean, this was almost as bad as it can be, right? I'm gonna tell you why I was wrong on Monday. I'm very much gonna talk about what fooled me, all right? But there are also a couple things that, that truly should have made it easier to know it was bad before eating this 20 burger, all right? Maybe not as obvious here. There's obviously a couple things jumping out on me, but I think ACB was the easiest way to kind of realize, all right, on Tuesday, no, 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 things are not as good as they, they really seem to be. You know what I mean? So again, I'll for sure talk about why I got that Monday, the 22nd wrong. And then clearly we'll talk about what to expect going forward with, with these stocks, right? The one big thing I do want to kind of talk about is the offering, all right? I've said it on a couple of videos. Like, I am not worried about offerings. Like, I am reverse splits, right? So, um, you know I'm here more about the technical stuff than the fundamentals. But, yeah, we'll also go over um, the offering as well. But, yeah, all that said, what are we going to do? Same thing we always do, right? We're going to take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how this thing is setting up short term. We do have our five moving averages. There are horizontal support and resistance lines that we that I already draw manually myself and then when we're done up here we'll use the MACD RSI and volume as our lower indicators hey really quickly if you can please like this video subscribe to the channel share this thing on the internet you know comment good or bad and again I'm kind of ready for the bad given how wrong I was on the last one right but um, I'm telling you anything you can do really does help me out but for real just giving me your very important valuable time is is super super appreciated Appreciate it, all right? So look, let's get going. And, and the first thing I got to talk about is why I got Monday wrong, okay? So first and foremost, I want to go to ACB, all right? ACB made such a monster, monster move. It, it, it really did, you know? And um, I believe I made the, um, the YouTube video a little earlier than I normally do. I think it was actually during regular trading hours. And um, yeah, I... I mean, I might have even flashed ACB when this was happening up here. You know what I mean? So I, I truly don't remember the day that well, but ACB looked good. Tilly looked good. I flashed Sandal, SNDL, right? I flashed High Tide. I even think I flashed CGC and Cron. Like we went through all the weed stocks and Monday was looking badass. And more than anything, it looked like Monday was going to do a lot of important things. All right. With Tilly, I think... I think with Tilly, it was even worse because look, one of my big rules is if you're going to do something important, one of the things I want you to do is break the biggest candle to the left. And that was this guy right here. Okay. And you can see that this day on 5-4, we close at 2-5-2. On this day right here, we close at 253. I know it's only a penny, but getting over this candle got me really excited. Getting over all three moving averages got me really excited. Seeing almost every other weed stock do some really important things compared to the lines got me excited. You know what I mean? And I had very, very big expectations for Tuesday onward. Again, I always say if you're gonna break multiple moving averages, you got to confirm big. Also, and I'm going to say it again when I talk about um, ACB specifically, but I also say day after the doji is always really telling, right? And that is what we see there, right? So, um, man, there were a lot of things to, to really say by Tuesday. Okay, this dude was wrong. This chart reader dude read some charts wrong, right? And yeah, that is definitely what happened, right? By Wednesday, we have lost the eight moving average, right? Again, looking at ACB, we're now under all the moving averages, right? Like there are there are clear eject, eject, eject signs, right? And then look, I I give a little bit less. Um, sorry, I'm getting a call. I give a little bit less weight to this line and more just a wild reaction to this offering, right? I have not read the details. All right, my, my best assumption is we were sitting at 230 and the offering was somewhere sub two, 
all right? If that was the case, yeah, this kind of makes sense, right? But in general, an offering isn't too, too bad, all right, honestly. And I am surprised that uh, this 20% loss happened, but I think more than anything, and, and I know it sounds silly to say, because obviously if there was no offering today, there would not have been an immediate 20% drop. I think that's fair to say. I don't think we would have gone any lower than 230, let's roughly call it, right? That said, I mean, it, 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 the failed technical up makes it want to come down. And when you lose all the moving averages, I think, it, you know, it's just, it, it, it's rough. You know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's rough. And again, I am not here trying to make some BS excuses why, why I got Tuesday, Monday wrong, but between Tuesday and Wednesday, it would have been really easy to hit eject by Thursday and literally not hold any of this. But yeah, man, it just, I got it wrong. And you know, it's not financial advice. We know that, right? But again, I'm more here to talk about why I got it wrong to hopefully not do it again. I think the excitement wasn't bad to have. I just hope you saw the, you know, it, it, it wasn't there as quickly as, you know, I would have, you know what I mean? So, um, and again, this is a learning process, right? So, um, but yeah, talk about a poorly, poorly aged video, right? Let's, let's be honest. So where are we on the weekly? It's a shit weekly. There's actually nothing else to say. We are deep, deep, deep in all time lows now. That That's super scary because again, RSI looks like it wants to get worse. MACD hasn't even started the downtrend yet and we haven't even crossed the 50 moving average on volume, right? So um, there, there, is, there is a lot of reason to be worried here. I'm sincerely hoping that this offering, because like th this could make a nice little recovery, right? There is actually nothing in between any of this. So maybe we do kind of make a little recovery up. Cause again, I don't know what the offering terms are. I think that's going to dictate it. Otherwise this thing's going down in deep into all time lows. All right. Look, ACB again, I know I talked about ACB a lot on the, on the Tilray side, but again, a couple really, really basic technical analysis things that I say on every video, nothing to do with weed specifically or whatever, right? If you're gonna break an important moving average, and that one's important, right? Because look at the 50 moving average. I mean, it's been a real, real struggle for a really long time, right? Like you can see the red is distinctly above these candles most of the time, right? If you're gonna break an important one, and you know, I loved this candle because of the, the high of the day was the close of the day, right? Like there's no wick up here. Like there was a lot of reasons for me to love this candle, right, okay? If you're gonna doji, the day after the doji is gonna be really telling. And that is really telling, and again, it, it continues from there, right? If this was up, I'm telling you, the whole sector would have been different. It really would have. I've been saying as ACB moves, the, the, the sector will too. I think this ACB horrible Tuesday hopefully made it easy to say, oh, dude, this dude was wrong and let's get out Wednesday, even before Thursday and Friday got, got hit, right? So, um, and then from there, obviously we lose the support line. So hopefully that made it a little easier. But yeah, again, I'm not here pretending I got Monday wrong, right? I'm just kind of trying to stress that there were signals to let you know that I got it wrong early, right? And a lot of it is failed confirmations and failing the ability to hold really important moving averages, right? End of the day, even with Tilly, I'm barely talking about any of these, right? Because you know, 80% of the work really is up here and... Um, again, this, this, this was rough to say the least. So, um, you know, am I going to say, sorry, I got it wrong? Yeah, kind of right. You know, that's kind of implied because I love getting things right. You know what I mean? Like I do, but I'm not sorry that I made the call on Monday. I think it was just really important to understand what Tuesday's follow through meant for the Monday call. Right. So, um, again, I'm, I'm really, I hope that this video actually brings some really cool comments because this was a big learning thing, I think, um, in a lot of ways. So, um, appreciate your time. Thank you so, so much.